The last thing I want to talk about in the whole Vinnie Vincent drama was your favorite show. Uh, did you hear? Well, I, I guess I assume you did. Uh, three Sides of the Coin released a special Three Sides of the Coin side episode dealing only with this topic that they were not involved in at all. Oh, so this is three hours of rambling conversation uh, with with no edits and also contains no facts? Or it, It's actually five minutes of content stretched over 45 minutes. And chip breaks? <laughs> I didn't see Chikini eat during this one, but... Uh, okay, continue. So you, did you hear it or not? Uh, by the way, that's the same. That's the same thing that people describe our show as: is uh, five minutes of content, <laughs> spread over an, an hour and a half with some songs from bands you don't like sprinkled in. Oh, and I, I, I know in, uh, so there was a couple back and forth on the show about like new, I posted a thing about people don't listen to new music after thirty, and I'm like, not if you listen to our show. And there, there's two comments. One was I, I skipped through to the music, and the other one was I skipped through the music. <laughs> So yeah, we got we got Both. we got them on all sides, but uh, that's right. Yeah, uh, Mike Mike Branville. I don't have a friend. Boy, he got more lathered up as he went on. I mean, this is clearly uh, still not. He's still grinding the axe about being called out in in Atlanta, and that has kind of been the calling card of that show. Is like anytime they get called out on their bullshit. They go into basically Trump mode, which is deflect, detract, accuse, you know, sell this stuff, use big words like truth. And that's how it, you know, like they, they just. But what about, but what about this? Yeah. And it's like, so they, they focused on the, the, the lack of a contract. Maybe they got a point there. Maybe they don't, but they are intentionally misrepresenting the whole thing. And that is that Vinny did not leave. Vinny, after the fact, asked for money and was declined. That is the truth. All right. We, we have, you know, we're a little more insiders, so we've been privy to see some of the exchanges, but there was no bad blood until Vinny went and did his statement. And these guys seem to go over that and they, they skip it. And Chikini offers brilliant, brilliant commentary like this. Bullshit. It's the music business. Music business. Business. So if you find those kind of nuggets insightful, you're probably not a very smart person. Luz, did you know it's the music business? <sighs> I'm not even sure that was Mark Cicchini because I didn't hear any chewing. <laughs> yeah, he pushed away from the buffet table long enough to offer this insight. <sighs> oh, my Lord. Yeah, um... That can't be too. That can't be very interesting uh, banter unless your IQ is the same as your thermostat. <laughs> well, look, we're, we're if you and I keep I keep my thermostat at about seventy one on average. Look, I, you say what you want about the show, like it or don't like it. When they have a good guest on, I think Branville does offer some. At times, interesting things to uh, as far as questions, and, and and you can get good things out of it. I loved the the Michael James Jackson interview. I love the second interview with him where he came back and basically said Paul Stanley yelled at me, and I have to correct something that I was vague on. <laughs> the point being, yeah, I, you look this this show has an axe to grind. Okay, they keep saying like. It's just true that this happened. When they never really, other than they said, that's not true, Aaron Camaro, they didn't prove anything. And Mark Cicchini went, did you hear Aaron Camaro jokingly apologize to Branvold? No. On Decibel Geek, uh, Aaron Camaro threw out kind of like a, I guess I owe you an apology, Michael Branvold. You were right. And oh, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're yeah. talking about that. The yeah, the Mark Vinny Cicchini was. references that without mentioning the show or the person and says, and you, and he apologized to you. He apologized, and he basically said, you know, I was wrong to take Vinny's side. I was wrong to lie for Vinny Vincent. And I'm like, are you... That, my God, how fucking... I mean, either, either Cicchini is dumber than I think he is, or... He is smarter than I think he is and knows how dumb the people who listen to that show are. <laughs> you. Outside of me, because I'm, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm wicked smart. 
And by the way, my comment about not, not knowing if, if, uh, if, if Mark Cicchini, uh, that was him or not from him uh, chewing, is not a, 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 at all some kind of uh, uh, rip on. Uh, that wasn't any kind of joke, which I never do about somebody's appearance unless it's Vince Neil. Um, uh, uh, it had to do with the fact that he's always eating chips. He's eating something. He he was eating ice cubes on an episode, <laughs> which are like chips, except they're just water. <laughs> yes, they, they crunch in your mouth. That, maybe it was a texture thing for him. Yeah, it's all about the texture. Fuck those guys. They knew exactly what they were doing. This is an axe. To, they had nothing to do with this, and yet they they interject their opinion and they refuse to mention Decibel Geek or the Rock and Pod Nash, you know, the Expo in, in oh, Nashville. Oh, really? They did it that way too. Yeah, they did. Where they just kept talking about this Expo in August and this other this other show. You know, we all know what you're talking about, and you're a bunch of cowards once again for refusing to name what you're going to name. And it just, there was a post on on the Kiss Room where someone said, on this topic, makes me laugh, no surprise, all these other podcasts changed their tune on Vinny and started kissing his ass after he came out, even after Vinny screwed over former band members and fans, hilarious. And the person who commented on that was Michael Brandvold, who said, makes me laugh as well. I can only think of one show that actually changed their entire tune on Vinnie Vincent when he decided to do the Atlanta Expo, and that was three sides of the coin. It's ridiculous that they use the word truth, and anybody can see this loose, anybody. Anybody whose IQ is higher than the number on your average thermostat. Wow. Yeah, and on that, too, do you think the average listener to Three Sides uh, keeps it on really cold at 63 or cranks it all the way up to 100 during the summer? Because <laughs> either way, that's, uh, that's not a proper use of energy. I don't think the average Three Sides of the Coin listener can work a typical thermostat. <laughs> <laughs> somebody, somebody tries. Maybe to those old nest. school ones that are on a dial, but they if it needs programming, they're fucked. Yeah, you give them a nest by one of those nests, their heads explode. So you ready to get out of here? I'm ready, man. Rock's not dead. It was deleted in the comments section.